Taking a look now then at what the distinct differences are between a UAS operator and a remote pilot. If you haven't already, you'll hear these terms used a lot throughout the drone industry and it's important to understand what each means. Both the UAS operator and remote pilot roles require a type of certificate from the CAA, but they both have two different purposes. One thing which is important to know though is that these titles or roles can be held by the same person or by different people. Let's take a quick look at two examples of this. Let's say you're a sole trader and you run your drone business as a single operator. If this is the case, then it's likely that the person who's responsible for the drone operations within the business, the drone operator, is the same as the person who'll be flying the drones. So you take on both the roles of the UAS operator and the remote pilot. If you're running a larger company, let's say with a number of drone pilots or as a drone pilot for a company which is run by someone else and you just fly for them, then the accountable manager of the company will probably be the drone operator and the remote pilots would work under their direct or indirect supervision. Putting more flesh onto the bones of these definitions, what do the roles actually mean to us then? So the term UAS operator is reserved for the person organisation or enterprise that's engaged in or offering to engage in an unmanned aircraft operation. So in other words, the term refers mainly to the legal entity that intends to operate a drone. That could be you as an individual or it could be a company. The UAS operator has to hold a UAS operator ID and the person nominated to hold this role must be 18 years of age or older. The UAS operator is ultimately responsible for the drone operations and the safety of the drone operations carried out by the operator. They need to ensure that there are adequate provisions in place such as training, PPE and insurance and that any drone operations being conducted by the remote pilot are being done so safely and legally. It's worth noting that in some cases the UAS operator doesn't necessarily need to be a qualified remote pilot. For example, the managing director of a company might be the person who was nominated to be the UAS operator, but they don't need to be qualified to fly a drone and might not actually be involved in the drone operations. They just need to be aware of the drone flying and that they are ultimately responsible for any drone operations which the company undertakes. I tend to say whoever pays, organises and deals with any insurance claim is a good person to nominate as the UAS operator and it will be their signature that signs off on the operations manual. However, it can be anybody, but remember they are ultimately responsible for all operations with a drone. It's the UAS operator who has to get an operator ID from the CAA and renew that operator ID each year for a nominal fee. That operator ID then has to be attached to every drone within the organisation. Next up is the remote pilot. The remote pilot is the natural person who operates the unmanned aircraft or monitors the course of any UAS which is operating autonomously. It's the person who has the sticks in their hand or the person who's controlling the computer that's controlling an autonomous aircraft. Every remote pilot operating a drone over 250 grams in weight must hold a flyer ID from the CAA. The flyer ID is valid for five years and can be obtained for free from the CAA through the Drone and Model Aircraft Registration and Education Scheme or the DEMARES. To get your flyer ID, you'll need to pass a 40 question online examination, which is completed directly with the CAA on their website. You'll need your flyer ID to take the examination for this GVC course and it's a separate examination to the GVC examination which you will do with ourselves here at UAV Hub once you've completed this theory course. So, to summarise, your organisation, whether you're part of a large organisation or you're just a sole trader, needs to nominate a UAS operator to ultimately be responsible for all drone operations and they need to get an operator ID every 12 months. In addition to this, all remote pilots need to be in possession of a flyer ID, which needs to be renewed every five years. <laughs>